oh my gosh, everything just fell together. Somebody else who was looking into it has been trying to determine why there was a gas mask found all the way at the end of the building. Quite literally, in the back, all the way towards the very end corner from the, on the far side of the building, at the, from the back of this theater, there is a gas mask laying almost in the middle of the road. Now I'm just going to go ahead and give you the theory and then I'm going to put it together. Uh, as a result of figuring this out. There are certainly two guys involved here, uh, or, or more, possibly more. There is, when Holmes was seen signaling to somebody, he was having the actual shooter park the car. Holmes then went out and changed into the right gear. However, there was somebody else that was also in this riot gear. This is very disconcerting because there would be two gas masks as a result of having found that gas mask. The pictures of, they only found one gas mask at the scene. Somebody's covering something up in this crime scene investigation unit. The killer's gas mat. The kill. The actual killer ran away, and he ran away towards a main road, which is located off the, basically off the back corner where the gas mask was found. And this, the Washington Post actually reports that there, uh, that this evidence was found out there. Additional evidence of the gas mask. This is so big. It's so hard for me to get it all out without just freaking out right now because what you must understand is this is this is what happened so the shooter is in there he shoots as many people as he can and he does ind indeed grab a child victim a girl probably from judging from the pink sandals why do I know it's a child we have a dispatch saying we need rescue inside the auditorium. We have multiple victims. We have seven down in the theater, seven down. Must have gone outside at that point. I've got a child victim. I need rescue at the back door of Theater 9 now. A child, a child victim was taken from the back door of Theater 9. This child victim is more than likely dead. Now, this is, this is really important. Because what it says is that as, as this person was abducting this child, he's taking the child out the door. The child is struggling to get away, and the flip-flops flop, flip off the child. The man uh, drops his gun in all the tussle, so his assault rifle is now on the ground. Holmes probably did have an assault rifle with a 100-round drum. So as it continues, they, he ex this guy accidentally drops a riot shield. They're throwing everyone off with the riot shield. They don't want anyone to know about this riot shield, number one. And it has a white, a white uh, logo on the front, which more than likely says police. These pieces of evidence were later taken away from the scene, from the crime, from the crime scene. As, the, as he continues with the child, because he's going to try to abduct the child and take the child all the way, not around the corner to rape it, but he's actually going to try to take this child all the way to a car. The child does, in fact, amount, uh, struggle free from this person. Or maybe, and this is the thing, the child suffered a knife wound because they also said that Holmes had a knife on him. Now, I know that this is what happened. He attempts to abduct the child. However, remember, the cops arrived so soon, 60 to 90 seconds, right? And so it's actually a good thing that the cops arrive so soon. It scares this guy. So he stabs the girl with the knife. The girl's running back, arterial bleeding, probably a knife wound in the neck area. And that is what shows this, um, or maybe in, you know, maybe in the chest or back, uh, whatever, probably in the back. That's what shows this arterial bleeding heading into the theater. The guy runs. Unfortunately, he's so afraid around the corner, wearing the gas mask and holding a bloody knife, 
so he drops both of the items. That's what Washington Post and they are afraid to admit. There's a gas mask and a bloody knife at this corner. Now the gas mask suggests that he is in fact heading like more or less kind of towards the highway. I'm going to be putting all these pictures here where he gets picked up probably by a car which is slow moving down the highway or sitting on the side of the highway for him to be picked up and escape. Later the cops come back out and they see Holmes sitting in his car uh, basically so meek that's what this guy who's in also investigating this he does, they don't shoot him. But the crime scene is totally crazy in the back because this motherfucker attempted to abduct a child. Holmes probably watched this. The security camera suggests that all of this has been seen. The security camera footage would not be released. Who runs the world? I don't know what group it is, but I know that they traffic children for lots of money. Torture them and rape them on film. If you haven't seen Conspiracy of Silence, watch it. That's who is behind this. That's the kind of person that can just kill a bunch of random people and not let it phase them.